Hey guys, welcome back to Iron Blog. I'm Noah, and in this week's episode, I had the chance to interview Mark McKenna, an 18 year Iron Dog veteran. Let's check it out. Mark McKenna, I'm 20. Nice to meet you, Mark. So, tell me a little bit about what you do to prepare for Iron Dog and what the race means to you and your team in stop. Um, well, I, I, I'm a seasonal payment contractor, so I work a year's worth of work in the summer and in the winter. This is kind of my second job, it's my hobby. And, um, this would be my 18th race, 18th year doing this. It just kind of becomes part of your life. I mean, I'm 41 now. I've been doing it since I was 22, 23. And uh, it, uh, it's just a good outlet to, you know, get your body in good shape. You know, I, I uh, don't have time to go to the gym and work out and stuff like that in the summertime. So uh, I get the chance to, you know, get my body in good shape, lose a lot of weight, and have fun with four months of the winter. Can you tell me a little bit about Polaris and how they helped you and the teammates got out? Um, well, the, the support's phenomenal. I mean, we uh, were sponsored through the, the, uh, the factory, and they enable us to get all the parts and pieces that you that you need to you know get to the finish line. Um, this race is grueling on the body, but the machine is, it takes more than the, than the body. And, they give us all the special parts and pieces you need to, to uh, complete the race and not be stuck, you know, towing and working on stuff, you know. Can you tell me a little bit about how you and Scott met and how you guys teamed up? Um, well, he raced with um, an old partner of mine that I raced with for, uh, I don't know, three, four years um, with Eric Kwong, who was a big help to me when I first started out. Uh, I think my third year, I ran with Eric, and we uh, uh, we did we did well together. We won together in 08, got second in uh, 02, and uh, we were side by side most of the race last year. Um, I raced with, with Scott's dad, who's the all-time best at this race, and uh, I know the capabilities that he has. I saw last year, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. How long have you been racing? This will be my 18th Iron Dog. 18th Iron Dog. That's crazy. Yeah. Turned into an old man. <laughs> I was new to just about all of it. The outdoors, being out in the middle of nowhere, and you're relying on yourself and your partner. Um, obviously, the equipment we had back then is uh, just night and day different than what we have now. Um, but uh, it's it's weird how things have changed over the years. The pace has changed. Um, it seems like there's a lot more competition now. A lot of young teams, fast teams, guys that have been doing it for years now. And it's just getting tougher and tougher. I mean, there's for the last five years, there's 10, 11 top teams that are all capable of winning. So you you got to have your crap together. I've won four times. I've got second twice, third twice. A fifth, a sixth, an eighth, thirteenth, and a couple of DNFs. Do you have a favorite race? I would think 2005. Um, that was the first year I won. That was the last year that the race went from Big Lake to Nome back to Big Lake. And it's a lot more physically demanding race uh, than it is going to Fairbanks. So, and I think we set the record. Um, that year, and to win your first time is probably your, you know, the one you remember the most. So it was a really emotional day. You came in first. Oh yeah. Well, we led the whole race up and back, and all uh, oh, perfect. We had a few problems, but pushed through and made it. And it was uh, just way more physically demanding when you hit Ruby on the Yukon River and turn back to McGrath. 
than the graph to here is it's tough. Especially when the 80 machines has already been up that trail, now you got to come back down. And, yeah. So there's nothing soft about it. It's 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 pretty brutal. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in next week for another racer interview. And if you guys have any suggestions for future interviews, leave a comment down below. And uh, see you guys next week. Oh, my God.